this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine and today's segment is my journey into data science where we talk to distinguished people working in the field, talk to them about their transition, their hiring process as well as their advice to fellow data science aspirants. And today we have with us a very special guest, Usha Rangaraju, who is India's first woman Kaggle Grandmaster. So let's just go ahead and talk to her. Starting with the first question, what do you work as or what is it that you do? Hi, I'm a data science consultant and also a corporate trainer. I also do a lot of faculty development programs and uh, I also uh, have developed a curriculum for a lot of data science education providers out there. Uh, one of my uh, significant achievements would be uh, preparing the Masters in Data Science curriculum uh, for Robert uh, Milani and um, I'm also India's uh, first women Kaggle Grandmaster and outside my uh, work I'm quite active in technical uh, community uh, space. Uh, I lead around uh, eight communities across two cities, Bangalore and uh, Mysore and uh, some of the chapters which I lead have become the biggest chapters in India uh, in a very uh, short span of time. Coming to the next question, you've done a lot of certification courses in data analysis. If you had to review them, how helpful were they? Unique uh, specializations and certifications like uh, neuroeconomics, uh, financial engineering and genomic data science and psychology. Uh, they have definitely uh, given me an edge over the other in a lot of circumstances and uh, particularly made me stand out whenever uh, it comes for hiring. And uh, so, yeah, certifications have uh, played a very, very crucial uh, role in my life. I would definitely highly recommend anyone uh, to do certifications. And uh, one more thing uh, which you need to realize is um, these certifications, particularly from Coursera and ETX, uh, these are prepared by the world's best minds from the top universities in the world. And uh, there's a lot of effort which has gone into designing these curriculum and uh, take these course projects or capstone projects and uh, these are uh, carefully designed and curated by the world's uh, leading experts. So uh, choosing the uh, right certification and uh, doing it the uh, right way uh, can definitely be a game changer and uh, it's also one way to show your uh, employer see you have a definite set of skills and you've already been uh, tested by a platform uh, so it's uh, definitely definitely uh, helpful and uh, some of my uh, favorite certifications would be uh, the uh, programs offered by ETX, uh, particularly in the form of MicroMasters program. Uh, I would highly recommend the MicroMasters series which is coming out of MIT and Harvard. And uh, these programs gives you uh, one fourth of the credit for the master's program. And uh, most of them, you know, give you a direct admit to these uh, elusive <laughs> Uh, programs uh, once on successful completion of MicroMasters and uh, I've taken a couple of them and uh, I would highly recommend these programs to anyone out there. Moving on, let's talk about your Kaggle journey. How did you become a Grandmaster? My uh, Kaggle journey started with the uh, WITS 2019 uh, Datathon workshop held in Bangalore and uh, I was one of the organizers of the event and I was looking for a women Kegler from any uh, tire uh, expert or master or grandmaster to handle the workshop for us and I couldn't find anyone in Bangalore who was interested to do it and also like I couldn't uh, you know uh, you know the people outside Bangalore were not willing to travel either so uh, finally we brought in a male instructor to handle the workshop for us and uh, that's when I decided like I should uh, you know get into Kaggle seriously <laughs> and uh, with 2019 Datathon, work, uh, uh, Datathon was my first ever Kaggle competition and it was a fun learning experience with you know uh, people whom I uh, met that I participated with people whom I met in the workshop and uh, 
Post that I got busy with the other commitments and couldn't pursue my Kaggle journey and then uh, you know in August 2019 I was invited as a moderator to be a uh, you know, moderator for a panel discussion with 10 Kagglers uh, for the inaugural uh, Kaggle day, uh, Days Datathon uh, Kaggle Days uh, event in Bangalore. And so it was a great experience listening to Kagglers about their uh, you know, uh, journey and about how they reached where they were and uh, maybe that was very unique experience for me and that uh, reignited my Kaggle journey and uh, from August 2019 to December 2019 I, would, uh, I was teaching, uh, you know, I was giving Kaggle workshops across multiple universities across India and uh, wherever I would go for a data science workshop, I would always teach them what is Kaggle, how to use Kaggle, how to participate in competitions, how to make use of the data sets and all that. But uh, the significant uh, turning point I would say was uh, with 2020 uh, data zone workshop for Mysuru where uh, I trained around uh, 1000 students across four universities in a week and uh, which uh, Mysuru was uh, had the I'd clock the highest uh, number of participants who participated in uh, WITS 2020 uh, Datathon and uh, it's a proud moment for all of us and uh, I'd say most of my uh, learning came from teaching others uh, to be able to teach others you need to know that concept in and out so I would uh, recommend that you know uh, to anyone out there who is starting out now and uh, back when I started teaching in universities not many people were aware of Kaggle but now uh, it's you know if I uh, now I see a lot and lots of university students from India out there uh, doing a great commendable job and uh, it's heartening to see all these uh, developments and uh, uh, yeah. Moving on, if you were to hire a data scientist for your team, what would be given more importance, education or their skills? Uh, when it comes for hiring, I would definitely look for uh, candidates with uh, well-rounded abilities, both in technical and as well as soft skills. Uh, for the technical skills, uh, strong programming experience in uh, any of the programming language, uh, preferably Python and uh, good uh, knowledge of any of the cloud platforms and uh, you should know how to deploy uh, models to the cloud and uh, basic familiarity with the MLOG pipelines is preferred and uh, strong uh, problem solving skills and uh, good critical thinking skills are definitely a must have and uh, for the soft skills uh, good communication skills particularly the ability to negotiate uh, ability to handle stress ability to handle rejections are uh, definitely the top uh, crucial uh, life have skills which I would uh, watch out for Coming to the last question, your advice to today's data science aspirants. The most important uh, thing would be to build a portfolio of projects and uh, for the project ideas you can always participate in Kaggle competitions and once a competition gets over uh, write your solution as a blog post or a white paper or research paper whatever works for you. Uh, publish your uh, source codes to GitHub repository and share it across with a uh, lot of people. And uh, alternatively, for project ideas, you can also look around yourself. For uh, yeah, I mean, there are a lot of societal problems prevalent in our country, and India doesn't have a shortage of uh, you know societal problems. Um, you can use all these skills which you've learned from courses, and, uh, AI tools, all the other technological tools, combine them all uh, to tackle these uh, prevalent societal problems and this could definitely add a lot of value to your profile and be a great uh, project and a um, lot of hiring uh, managers these days, uh, they do look for, uh, you know, uh, pressures with a uh, good understanding of cloud and at least a basic familiarity with MLOps as well. 
uh, this is where a lot of data scientists you know fail uh, they uh, do have a very good knowledge of uh, you know the machine learning algorithms and the other skills uh, but uh, they uh, are not equipped with uh, you know knowledge on how to deploy their models to cloud so i would definitely recommend you know uh, spending some time upskilling yourselves in at least any of the uh, cloud platform and uh, I would, uh, the, I would like to quote uh, the I am remarkable initiative tagline uh, when it's based on facts it's not bragging so after putting all these efforts building so many projects ensure you get enough visibility in the social media and uh, final advice would be uh, networking is a very, very uh, crucial skill, especially in today's world where uh, the market is quite crowded. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, if you know someone in the company, uh, then then the company which is hiring, then there's a high probability of getting selected. So. I know, I know it's going to be, uh, you know, very uh, challenging during these times to do networking, uh, but uh, try your best as best as you can. And uh, this would be my advice for the aspiring data scientists out there. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.